Welcome everybody to race number 13 We're here at the Toronto Lakeshore Speedway. A kind of a fictional racetrack, but they did race at Toronto that one time back in the day. So David Davison is on pole for today's race. Tokoyami is starting in second. Here's the full qualifying results. And now we'll take you to trackside. Here's the race command. Okay, engines fired up, and the field is rolling off. So we have a new points leader once again. Tokoyami in a 252 car is now the new points leader. However, he is tied with Wes McCoy, as Wes McCoy gained five positions with his win at Texas World Speedway. However, the average finishing position is the tiebreaker. So despite Wes McCoy having that one win, and even two more top fives than Tokoyami. His average finish is a 12.83 versus Tokoyami's 12.33. So, pretty big car. So that is the difference. So imagine if Texas World was the final race of the season. That would have been insane. As we're getting ready to go green here at Toronto. Base car is coming in. Green flag is out. And we're underway. So while the real track was the Canadian Expedition Stadium, as only 30 cars have started up oh, trouble here to Edison and now Legacy already having issues coming around the lead lap number one here they go side by side Tokoyami gonna take that lead and take that bonus point the 94 loop Conteras to the inside side by side Conteras now takes over they have yet to score a top five finish but they're tenth in the points or eighth in the points here comes the 36. Oh, getting tight for a wide. Only for a brief moment there. Here's Brad Cheston who lost the points lead. He's only eight points back though. He can easily get it back today. Yeah, as a runner caution, we will race it back to the stripe. Here comes Conteras. He'll take the yellow flag. Okay, first caution of the day for the night. We'll take a look at the replay. All right, let's take a look here. So this happened in the mid pack. Tim Randolph moved Blazy Vitar a little bit to the outside, but it hooks him. There's also more contact between Hiroshi and Casey Hoyt in the 10. Noah Swell also spinning out. Randolph, he gets trapped. He gets kind of trapped uh, on the bottom there trying to get away. I mean, he did get hit too, right? He's just trying to squeeze to the bottom. He gets in the 55. Yeah, four wide doesn't really work here at uh, Toronto. It's 10 to 22, and also Ryan Butcher goes for a spin. Pretty minor crash here in the second TV cam. And yeah, I think all five will be okay. Don't think we're going to see anyone retire from the race yet. We'll take you back to the restart. Getting ready to go green. As you see, Tokoyami is nowhere to be seen right now. Or was he further back? But yes, Tokoyami is out of the race because he has no fuel. The 32 is out for a piston. Ryan Butcher. Okay, looks like I'm wrong. So that was enough to take him out. What happened? So it says no fuel. But the chat box doesn't say anything. Yuji says maybe fuel pressure or something like that. Fuel system. But yeah, it doesn't say anything. All of a sudden, our points leader has no fuel. Did it puncture or anything like that? But anyways, we're getting ready to go green. Luke Conteras will lead us to the line. Tim, Tim Randolph is two laps down. The only car on the inside for now. As the pace car goes in, here we go.
Green flag is waving. We're back underway. Contreras going to be the only car to clear the lap car into turn one. Brad Chesson now in second place. No Alex on a row now to the bottom. Cole Colby is there. Three wide here. Cole Colby in the 76. Was there a wreck? Yes, there was. Oh, big damage. Stephen Oaks in a seven. His car is destroyed. Yellow is out. Colby second. Rowe is third. Giorgio is fourth. Battle for second. Rowe is going to slip by. And he'll beat Colby to the line for second place. Luke Contreras takes the yellow. We'll take a look at the replay. All right, let's take a look here. Stephen Oaks in the seven car. I was just outside a top 10 and Richard Anderson in the 12. Hooks the back in. Into the wall he goes hard. A single car incident. Oaks is now last in the points, or at least last between the active drivers as Colin Cropley is out of the is out for the rest of the season. But yeah, tough one for Oaks. Oh, we're almost done here. Just two more races left. What a hit for the seven. See that a lot here at Toronto. So our second yellow of the night. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green. Another driver with a mechanical failure. This time it was Brad Chesson with the header. So there's four cars with issues today. Legacy, we don't know because he wasn't scored. Edison with a piston. Tokoyamis for some reason has no fuel. And Brad Chesson's out for a header. That's another championship contender. That's another top three driver out of the race. So that leaves Wes McCoy, who is currently 6 in the points, or 6 in the race, not in the points. So Wes McCoy should easily get the points lead tonight. Well, maybe not easily, but where he's sitting right now, it should be easy. Alright, here we go. Green flag is out. We're back underway. Colby taking over second. Once again. Anderson in a 99. In fifth right now. Now takes fourth side by side. Photo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In the wall. Oh, but it's going to be tough. Going to be hard getting back on the racetrack. He slides into it. And they all managed to save it. How did they save that? Oh, the eight car. Close one right there. So let's split the, the field up in half. Three times have a second lead here as Colby chasing down Luke Contreras. Side by side here for a third place. Yeah, I, I it's on there for a, for a bit right there because I just noticed this is basically Dover. How did I not see it? This is Dover. This is pretty much Dover. It's a one miler. I mean, it looks exactly like it, right? I've used this track since 2014, and it took me this long to realize that this is Dover. I was like, what the hell? You know how at our Dover, sometimes they kind of break loose when they're on the apron and turn one and two, and when that happened, I was like, I know another track that does that. It's Dover. And it's happened a lot here in Toronto too, but it just took me this long to realize that. As we're under caution, by the way. Alright, Contreras will once again take the yellow flag. Third yellow of the tonight. We'll take a look at the replay. So this one happened on the back straightaway. The 4 and the 47. There was a lot of room. Toby McCoy, he just flat out, whoa, nearly launched a 4 in the air. Both cars go for a spin. Pretty big hit for the 4. So he almost went up in the air there. From a different camera angle, maybe from the spectator view. He takes a hard hit, similar to the 7. 
Takes another hitch from the right side of the car. Pretty much picked the, the right, the left side up in the air there. So pretty sure there's heavy damage on the four. Toby McCoy. Yeah, he just took out the four car right there, coming off turn two. Looks like he might was just trying to tuck back in behind there. I don't think these two have any beef. But before I take you back to the restart, let's take a look at the close call we had with the 64 and all and Richie Hiroshi in the 11. So this was on lap 15 here. Anderson Nee gets in the back of the 64, Giorgio D. Into the wall wasn't a big hit there. But this was a, I thought they were going to wreck here. Even Anderson got a little sideways. So he just slides, he just pretty much spins in front and Hiroshi saves it. Or saves him. And he also saved his own car. Right on board here with uh, the 11 Hiroshi. Yeah, I thought they were all going to wreck. Although he did, well actually... No, he kind of held and kind of saved it there on his own, sort of. Well, or he got him to Casey Nanako. That's what saved the car. Hiroshi gets on the back of him. Yeah, and I thought the, he was going to wreck. Here, he's all sideways, out of shape, but he managed to save it too. So that's what happened there. Close call. We'll take you back to the restart now. All right, getting ready to go green. So the four is out of the race. 24 cars remaining, 23 in the lead lap. Here we go. Third restart of the night. Loop Contreras once again leading us to the green. Probably has to thank Tim Randolph because he's pretty much holding up that bottom line. He can get the jump, but the others cannot. Green flag. We're back underway. Max Anderson for third. We haven't talked too much about Max Anderson this season. Anderson's not doing too bad. He probably did, did drop out of the top 10 in points. Losing six spots after Texas World. A win tonight will be pretty huge. It'll be pretty huge for a lot of drivers. We've seen how just one simple win can boost him up. Well, for most drivers at least, not for some Malkis. He only gained two positions with his win at Atlanta. Be a huge difference, those extra 10 points for winning that race. Anderson now chasing down Luke Contreras. So, rookie versus veteran. Both are potential contenders. Also looking for their first this season. How aggressive is it going to get? Well, we'll see. So far, Contreras has not been challenged. Thanks to Tim Randolph and all these cautions. But Anderson slowly hunting him down. Third place is Connor Breeden. Looking for win number three. There's Casey Nanico on the 49. Ninth of the points, slowly dropping back, and still recover. Oh, 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 the two! Oh, in the wall hard, Colby also around. Caution. And there goes another top three driver in points. Oh, looks like it's not going to be an easy night for the two. And Anderson has taken the lead while we're taking a look at that wreck. Alright, let's take a look at the replay. Not a good night for the top three. Well, it was looking pretty good for Wes McCoy. He was seventh at the time. But so were the other two, running in the top five, top ten at the time. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a hard hit. He got hit twice by Cole Colby. So you take a look again. It's actually right on board with Colby here. So, battling for position here. Right off turn two. And there's that second hit. That really sent the two car in a pretty bad angle. Hit the wall pretty hard. So he lost McCoy. They didn't really spin. He just slammed the wall. And he just limps it back to pit road. But was there another wreck? Potentially. 
the caution came out really quick. Hmm. Nah, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that was for uh, the two in the 76. Take a look at it again from the spectator view. Colby's also running for a championship there. And hey, we saw it in the cup throwback series. We saw how aggressive he was in that last race at Homestead, Miami. This time he actually did it. He wrecked. Yeah, he didn't. He, yeah, he got pretty aggressive, but he never wrecked anybody at that Homestead race. But tonight he did. So, maybe surprising for two some. Maybe not. But, anyways, we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green here. 23 cars left on the racetrack. 22 on the late lap. So Max Anderson in the 99 is out in front. 60 points behind the leader here. With the top three out. And a few other drivers not running too well, like Richard Anderson. He's dropped to seventh in points. Noah Swell is not in the top ten. Uh, Cole Colby... Well, Colby's not out, but we know he's not in the top 10 right now as we're getting ready to go green pace car is in here we go fourth restart of the night I believe and the green flag is out we're back underway hope Contreras he gets trapped on the outside everyone else able to get cut to the bottom Connor Breen now. He'll go by Tim Randolph. Three wide here. Here's some Mal Keys in the 230 car. Could he get one number two? Quite possible. Well, we know he isn't a contender, so he has nothing to lose at this point. He doesn't care about points as they're going four wide. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, this is going to be a big wreck right in front of the field. And this will take out a few. Oh, 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 the 12 slides into the 45, and that will take him out of the race. And Jeff Scott. Anderson. Looks like he'll take the yellow. Will be less than 10 to go. No lap cars to box anybody in. All right, let's take a look at the replay. Four wide. Well, we pretty much know that four wide doesn't work here at Toronto Lakeshore. Even three wide is gets a little tight. So, Contreras, luckily, he didn't even get touched. Nobody got into him. Not even a little bit. These three, Blazy Vitar, Mitchell Hodak, and Jeff Scott, all spin out down to the inside wall. Yeah, I thought this was going to get flipped. Because, you know, when they get in that certain uh, part. How do I explain it? When they're like at that, at that angle or something, like the 55 there. I thought he was going to go over. But well, at 26, he almost went over. He might have if it wasn't for Blaze Vitar there on the uh, outside there. Jeff Scott takes a pretty big hit from the 64. Then we also saw again with the 12. Cole Kobe we see also involved, the 86 to 22. The 10 was able to get by unscathed. And here comes the 12 of Anderson. Trying to avoid that wreck. Trying to cut it down to the apron. And he almost had it. Almost though. So that's another two cars for sure out of the race. Anderson not having a good night tonight. He's going to lose probably another four positions. Maybe even more. These guys able to keep on going. But we don't know if they're going to be in or out once we get back to the restart. Which anyways, we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready for the green. So the 64 is out, and as well as the 47. Leaving us with 19 cars uh, here on the restart. Less than 10 laps to go. Tim Randolph will have to start up single file like everybody else. Currently, where third is supposed to be. Here we go.
Race cars in. Green flag. We're back underway. No takers at all. At least for it looks like the top 15 cars all stay single file. The 55 being passed by four cars. And here they go. Connor Breen to the inside. He wants win number three. Four wide again. They're going to wreck again. Contreras sideways and around he goes into the wall. He keeps it down to the bottom. Under caution again. More crashing behind. Somehow Keys has gone around. Battle for the race lead. Connor Breen has taken it. Fisher is second. Coming to five laps to go. We're going to have one more restart. We got time for one more restart. And Breen will lead that one. And take the yellow flag. We'll take a look at the replay. Well, that's a heartbreak for Luke Contreras. He led the most laps tonight. Lost the lead there to Max Anderson. And then... Yeah, there's nothing he can do. Yeah, no no lap cars he can benefit off of. He gets turned by Alex on the row. He locks out the brakes, keeps it to the bottom. He didn't try to save it. He knows it's just best to hold it down there. Let the car just come to a slide. Don't try to save it at that point. Pretty big hit for Contreras. Looks like tonight was going to be the night for his first win. Or at least his first top five. Then take a look at this. Some Malkies in a 2.30. Yeah, I think he was trying to f uh, avoid the uh, 21 there. So he drifts up the racetrack. And he ends up taking Tim Randolph as well. And Keys, he was running in the top 10 too. Potentially could have got a second one tonight. Looks like that's not going to happen. As we're going to have ourselves a one lap shootout. Should be, I think. Alright, let's take you back to the restart. Yes, I was right. One lap shootout. So, Blaze is out for a piston. That might explain the slow restart. Or it could have been just the damage and then the piston broke. Uh, Luke Contreras out of the race. 17 cars remaining. Pace cars in. Green and white flag will be displayed at the same time. Who's it going to be here at Toronto? Green flag is out. Connor Breen not off to a good restart. Fisher. He's going to make his move here in turn one. No, he will not. He's going to wait. Connor Breen already has two. Those guys behind him have zero. Here we go. Fisher to the inside. Oh, but he doesn't does not have a nose underneath. But Connor slides up a little bit, opens the door. Here they come to the checkered flag. Win number three. Connor Breen hangs on, and he'll win at Toronto. Almost. Fisher played it very clean. And he gets second out of it. Connor Breen got his third win of the season. Inco incredible drive there by the three. He didn't get a good restart. He saw Fisher get a slight jump. But he did not make that pass in turn one. And I think that might have cost him the race. He should have got to the inside in turn one and two. Or into turn one. He'll have to settle for second tonight. Let's take a look at the full race results. So there you have it. Connor Breeden. Car number three. Win number three. And he's still the only one with more than a single win. So this team can definitely win races. But the inconsistency is it's kind of it's out there. That's kind of hurting them. But with another win. Another big points jump. Might get that points lead back soon. Oh, he's back in contention. Ramian Fisher in the 48. Yeah, as we saw, he played it really clean. He could have turned that three car. He could have dumped him coming off turn three and four. But he didn't. He did not. Uh, check a lightning blaze finishing third. Max Anderson fourth. Tita McCoy fifth. Blake Peters sixth. Alexander O seventh. Noel Holiday eighth. David Davis in ninth. And Casey Nanico tenth. 17 cars finish tonight's race. 16 on a lead lap. Here is the rest of the race results. With one car, Al Legacy finishing 32nd. Did not start the race. And yeah, a lot of big names getting taken out tonight. Either because of a mechanical or because of a crash. So this will be a, definitely a big shakeup in the points. I'm very curious to see where everyone sits after this. 
But anyways, that is it here at Toronto. Connor Reed the winner for the third time this season. Well, now take you to Victory Lane.